Mama. Hi, Mama. Cookies. You want to make pan you want to make pancakes? Yeah, pancakes. Can you tell me what we're gonna make? Pancakes. Pancakes. Guess what you guys get to go today? Grammys. Grammys. Gonna put hemp seeds in there. Yeah. Egg for you. Egg for you. Fantastic cracking. Good job, Mui. Pour it in. <laughs> oh, oh, did you get any shell in there? No. Nope. Nah, good job. Good job cooking, guys. You know when you wake up, if you have kids, and your children are in that like, pick on each other mood? Fox has woken up in that mood. But thankfully, it's the first day of the week that I don't have to bring them to creche, which is like our gym babysitting service. I get to go to the gym. Yay! Alone. 16 weeks pregnant. I haven't had a work day or just like a day off mum life in what feels like forever. It's been like a week and a half, but honestly feels like a really long time. And so today I have a really exciting meeting. <laughs> And it could not have come at a better time, honestly. A lot of mornings I'll wake up and I get mum guilt. I'm like, maybe I don't want to work today. I just want to hang with the boys respectfully. Love my children. Absolutely love them. But like, they've just been so intense lately. Five-year-olds are so intense and active. And I actually am excited for today. So like, do some work, have some meetings, talk to other adults. The chaos. Like, are girls like this? <laughs> I have this idea that girls like wake up and like draw and like play with their dolls. Like, we don't, we don't do that. <laughs> Malachi maybe would. Malachi would like wake up and do a puzzle, but like Fox just likes to poke everybody. <laughs> Something's just crashed. I'm going. See, you. have fun. Okay. I'm touched out. Like, I need, I need to step back from this. You just gotta run Testosterone around. pumping house. It's just <laughs> so intense. Like they're just wrestling at 6 a.m. Yeah, they try to wee in the thing at the same time. It's yeah, sword fights. It's the best. Get with I'm it. Going. Get with it, Mom. Going with this. <laughs> Bye, boys. I love you. Love, me. <laughs> <laughs> love, love you. I love, love you, Mom. I love you. Have a good day. Honestly, I do not want to start this vlog on a bad note or come across ungrateful ever. I've said this before. I am so grateful to be a stay-at-home mum. It is the most content and like purpose-filled I've ever felt in my life. But I know that all of my fellow mums, even if you're not a stay-at-home mum, have those days where you're like overwhelmed. Usually I work one day a week, sometimes two. Like two days a week is perfect for me because I get everything done. I can manage my team. I feel stimulated and creative. And then I like, I miss the boys so much so that my mum days, it's just like, so much more fulfilling but the last like yeah nearly two weeks our babysitter has been sick my mom hasn't been able to watch the boys it's just I, I've just been home with the boys yeah I just had one of those moments yesterday where I was like crying to Kurt saying like I just I just needed time to like feel like myself <laughs> like work you know anyway I feel really grateful it's just the boys boys are, boys are so intense in my previous two pregnancies, I was so nauseous. I pretty much laid down and ate popcorn chicken for the first trimester of both Fox and Malachi's pregnancy. By far, this has been my easiest and smoothest pregnancy so far. Of course, I was still nauseous in the first trimester, but it wasn't so bad that I had to stop my training routine. My weekly workout routine hasn't changed that much. Of course, my exercises and my intensity has changed, but I've pretty much been going to the gym like four, maybe five times a week. So I'm currently doing the body and bump pregnancy workout guide this is week 16 and this is the strength workout which my heart rate was pumping I was you'll see at the end I'm sweating my absolute face off so this was a really good workout that my booty was burning my arms were burning but I felt like it was cardio at the same time oh my gosh I feel disgusting <gasps> I bought this new long sleeve shirt I love wearing long sleeve shirts when I'm preggy it's just like I feel compact this is an active wear shirt and usually, like when I'm pregnant, I don't care, I'll train in a sports bra, but I'm not even gonna show you. This sports bra is so small for me now. When I'm not pregnant, you guys know, I'm a double A, potentially a triple A, like I'm so flat. And now I'm like, I'm an A, and nothing crazy, but I am like just fitting into this sports bra, so my boobs are like squished and I just didn't feel comfortable. To be fair, I am wearing natural deodorant, which like encourages you to sweat it out, but like not stink. Like I don't wear an antiperspirant, that's disgusting. 
It was a great workout though. I need to stay and do my pelvic floor exercises because at the end of every strength day in Body and Bump, you have to do like some pelvic floor holds and some pulses. So I'm gonna stay consistent this pregnancy and take care of my pelvic floor, but I cannot wait to go home and get this off. Don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? That's gross. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. That's disgusting. Do Gen Z's know who Sporty Spice is? Like, are they familiar with the Spice Girls? Is that like their parents' music? As a millennial, my energy or like my vibe, my brief for today's outfit is Sporty Spice has a meeting. I just feel like I'm the most comfortable in some kind of sport luxe wear. I actually have been filming more fashion related content over on my Instagram, so if you like that, let me know. I've got this shirt from Araminta James. To be fair, I can't be too picky right now with what I'm wearing because not a whole lot fits me. I'm pretty sure none of my jeans are gonna work right now. And I love all of my like oversized suit pants. That's like my favorite kind of stuff to wear and none of them fit me. This is the first time I've ever been pregnant in this season. Like I'm usually heavily pregnant in summer, which is great because you just wear bikinis and linen, but now I'm getting bigger and bigger as it gets colder, which probably means I'm gonna have to buy clothes. I think that's cool. Bomber is from Zara and then pants are also from Araminta James. Let's do a statement earring, either these ones. My issue is I have paper thin ears. I've just always had really tiny ears. So I fall in love with earrings like this, but they're just too heavy for my ears. Like I can wear these for three hours max. And then I feel like it's like stretching. I think when it comes to sporty outfits, that's how I make it look more fashion forward and put together is gold jewelry. Slightly different. We have the teardrop shape or this like chunky semicircle. I think I like the semicircle, unfortunately, and it's the heaviest one. Yes, this is the best base for makeup. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Definitely not new in the game. I feel like this is everyone's OG. It's just the best. Like, it makes my makeup stay on all day and look like I've just done it. So I just realized I haven't told you what I'm even getting ready for and what the to-do list of today is. And I have to be careful, tread on eggshells a little bit, and I hate being this person, but I'm not technically allowed to disclose everything, but like read between read between the lines, okay? Like get what I'm trying to tell you. So maybe like four months ago, I had a meeting with one of my favorite brands of all time, something I use every single day, who is Elijah. It's my favorite perfume. I wear Haze and Nomad. Not only do I love the brand, I love the product, love the perfume, but I actually love the people who own it. They're our friends. So anyway, we had a meeting and today is our second follow-up meeting where I get to <laughs> explore their warehouse and smell some scents and yes exciting things coming so if you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying we're meeting them at their warehouse at 11 so it's 10 30 now and then from there i kind of have to have a pamper day a little bit because one of my best friends elise she was my best friend in kindy she was actually one of my bridesmaids she's getting married on saturday it's thursday right now but tomorrow we're heading up to her wedding location and doing like bridesmaid stuff and helping her set up and like just hanging with the bride so so today I need to get, look how grown up my nails are. I need to get my nails redone. I'm just going to do a home fake tan. I was going to book in and get a spray tan by Brie, but honestly, I was just too unorganized and I just wasn't confident I would fit it in with like picking the boys up. I don't feel guilty, but like I said, I haven't worked in two weeks. So I really would love to just have a day where I smash out this meeting. I can have a call with Booktopia about my cookbook. By the way, the second print run is now live. So if you want to grab my cookbook, I will link it below. Is it dumb to be wearing perfume if I'm gonna be testing it on my skin? You know how like perfume on paper smells different on your skin? I was gonna put some haze on, which I'm honestly about to run out of. Or oh, Nomad. Let's just do haze. Oh, and what do you think of the new hair length? They obviously chopped like this much. Well, I didn't, Kirby did. Chopped this much of my extensions off because we had it really long for the activewear shoot, but I just felt like it was a little bit too long for life. And this one looks a bit more elegant. Considering nothing fits me, I think we did really well. Let's see what Kurt thinks. Kurt is the toughest critic. What do you think of my outfit? Be honest. Fantastic. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it. I love those pants. 
Uh, they're cool, aren't they? Should we go? Yeah. Multi-two. A toy cup multi-two. Oh my gosh. Oh, you want to get in this apartment? It's about your personality life. too. What am I giving? What am I giving? It's fresh, it's vibrant. Um, He's saying I look 12. You almost just did that too. Yo. How do you stop yourself from like just everything smelling the same. You have sinus issues. Because yeah. <laughs> I swear, after I smell like three, I'm like, no, I'm done. I can't. My feedback so far for this one, it's too floral. I don't want to be too savage, but... No, you need like to be savage. savage. You need to be better I... to figure out what you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one's more like nature vibes. But like, not in a floral way, in like a forest way. Mm. If that makes sense. I love it. What? <laughs> what? Earthy? Yeah. You're so visual. But, but like it. a green yeah. earth. So we call this last one, we call it gin fizz. Gin fizz? Yeah, well, that's fun. Oh. So we have more spice and aromatics Ooh, on top. This is so different. Yeah, that's fun. This is the closest to this so far. Yeah. Okay. Like, this is like summer nights, okay. like you go to the Maldives, you're going out to dinner. Have you smelled like it? Yeah, this, is, this has been our favorite yeah. of the day. Really? Yeah. 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 Guys yeah. are in sync. <laughs> I've never smelled anything like this before. Yeah, it smells mm. very different. You know? I don't it's a bit so, sensual, right? yeah. you know? Like a bit like naughty. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think it smells like this is how I got pregnant five years ago? <laughs> 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 we should call it. Yeah. <laughs> baby. All it's occasions. winter warmth. But yeah. like summer nights, yeah. you know. And then what will happen to it over the over the next few hours? So it, it'll get warmer. Like lighten it up a bit and mm. add like a bit of fruit salad to it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like how do you like... guys explain this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... yeah like, 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 right? Can you make us a fruit salad? <laughs> like, like a bit more feminine. Yeah, a bit of like a lychee or like a white tea or a cucumber. Yeah, but Does like don't take any of this lip. <laughs> Because it's a little bit heavy and a little bit masculine for me now. Is it possible to add sweetness to this Absolutely. with not compromising the scent? Absolutely. That was a sensory experience. <laughs> Lucky. I, it smells amazing in this car, by the way. I, know, I don't but know what. Covered. There's like so many scents going on there. So many. Like it is tough to give feedback on a scent when if like you don't like something or you do like an element of it, it's hard to like pinpoint it and like yeah. put it into words and describe it so i just ended up doing everything in some kind of like visual format i was like i like the warmth and like the comfort of this scent but i don't like how maybe like masculine it is so it was nice like you I, said like sweetness and you said like some flavors that you like yeah i think so i'm just scent. really realizing i i just like those warm sweet scents like not too overly sweet where it's like too young i want to feel luxurious and like you know Whoa expensive Whoa. but yeah that was a really fun experience and like something i've never done before like i love working on projects that are new and like i get to learn new skills and like even like learning about like that whole industry of you know creating a scent yeah, it's it fun cool. yeah okay on to the next task of the day i'm starving so we're gonna batch lunch and maybe some computer work i honestly i have so many emails to get through that is one thing i'm really not good at like i am a creative through and through i was just telling the who is elijah team this like any creative things i prioritize i love thinking of ideas coming up with concepts working on my cookbook coming up with video ideas but like the business side of stuff and like emails i just i really procrastinate and I push it away. I'm gonna grab my laptop, take my AirPod Maxes. I love listening to lo-fi beats. Oh my gosh, I'm puffed. I forgot like the pregnancy puff. All right, this, this. Get a big bag. I think I'll get my nails done on the way to pick up the boys. And I think I've got to pick up dinner as well for everyone, which is the least I can do if my mom is watching my kids. Phone, wallet, lip balm. Go work. Okay. Have fun. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Honestly, wherever I park, the closest cafe to what I park to, does that make sense? That's where we're gonna go. Do you know what's so annoying? Every time I get pregnant, every time, I crave two things. Red wine, I don't even drink. I don't like, I don't not drink, but I just, I don't really drink. I know I'm pregnant when I crave red wine and tuna sashimi. Oh, the things I would do right now for fresh sashimi and a red wine, that's what I want. That's what I want to eat. And they are the two things that I cannot eat right now. It's 
so random. I, I'm so sad. I usually use this less sugar oat milk every morning for my coffees. And I went to buy it again. I usually just get it from Woolworths, which is like our normal grocery store. And they don't stock it anymore. And I went onto the brand's website, couldn't find it. I, it's sold out everywhere. I don't know if they've like discontinued it or what. Anyway, I jumped online and I wanted to try. Do you know what? I think I have had it before and I don't remember what it tasted like in coffee. I want to try this. Does it say barista? Oh no. Okay, well I bought three. So it's the OMG oat milk and I like the sound of this one because there's no seed oils in it. It's just got olive oil in it because if you look at most plant-based milks, it has some kind of like canola oil, sunflower oil, things like that. This one, the ingredients are amazing. Let's just hope it froths and like warms up well. So I've got three of those. Yeah, this was like an online health food store. This is the best hand sanitizer. It's a spray. It's been sold out of my local health food store for like months. As you can see, I actually keep, I keep one in my bag all the time. And actually me and all my mom friends have this. So whenever we're out with all of our babies, we just like spray each other's kids. So like I'll spray my boys with this all the time. It's completely empty. So this one can go, but I got two so that I have one in my everyday handbag. And then I'll put one in like my big mum bag. And the brand is Koala Eco. It smells amazing. I like that it's a spray. Three seed classic crackers. I don't really cook lunch for the boys. I do like platters. We do like meats, crackers, veggies, fruit, cheeses. I'm always on the lookout for like fun platter ideas. I got some Japanese soba noodles. What is this? Oh, okay. One of my best friends told me to get this. She's consuming it in her pregnancy. She is a month ahead of me. So she's what, like 21 weeks. I'm 16. It's called Foraged the Mother's Blend. She said it tastes so bad. It's disgusting. It's got like beef liver in it and stuff, but her other friend swore by it in her pregnancy and she said it gave her heaps of energy. To be fair, I'm not low on energy. I feel pretty great. Yeah, everyone has been raving about this, so I'm gonna start taking this in the morning, I think. I was really curious about these. I've never heard of them before. They're called Dal Bar. I'm pretty sure they're made in Byron, which I love supporting local Aussie brands. I don't know, my boys are so picky when it comes to bars, but I don't really buy them because most of them are just full of crap. But these ones seem to be really nutritious and healthy. The first ingredient of this is pumpkin seeds. I love that. I got the caramel pecan flavor. This is what we've got going. Mmm, I like that. I like that. It's really sweet in a good way. Like, it is caramelly. Oh, yum. I hope my boys like them so they eat them. But if they don't, I could eat this whole bag. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's pack this away and then um, get my brides my nails done. And then I gotta go pick up the boys. Would it be a Sarah's Day day in the life if this outro wasn't filmed a week after starting it? The wedding, first of all, my nails, they turned out great. The wedding was gorgeous. Elise, the bride, stunning. Like the whole thing, incredible. But since being away, my phone doesn't work. Like how weird is this? So the wedding was in like, wasn't in a remote location, but we had no reception. So you know when you have bad reception and someone tries to call you and you just get a message being like, miss call from Kurt. Since being there, no one can call me and I'm kind of not mad about it. Like my family and friends are not loving it because no one can contact me. And like, it is kind of an emergency issue. It's kind of I need to go to Apple and like get it fixed, but I'm also kind of basking in the sense of solitude. <laughs> but anyway, I thought that was really weird. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. Honestly, this baby is just going to be pure scrambled eggs and avocado. Speaking of the baby though, what happened? Like overnight, I'm no longer in that awkward, like, is she pregnant? Is like, is she bloated? Has she eaten like a lot of pasta? I feel like I'm giving pregnancy now. Like I finally look like I have a baby bump, which is really fun. But yeah, the only consistent meal that I have wanted the entire pregnancy, even during the first trimester when I was like really nauseous and hated all food, is scrambled eggs on sourdough with avocado and chilies. <gasps> Honestly, at this point, I feel like it's a 20 hour vlog, so I really should wrap it up. But I miss vlogging. I miss like sharing my life 
with you, like my day-to-day -day life. And I know these are your favorite videos, just like day in the life, everyday vlogs. So I'm going to be making an effort to do more with you guys. But if you do like them, please let me know and comment below what kind of content you want to see from me because I just love getting your feedback. But I hope you enjoyed this random one. I feel like it was all over the place. But yeah, the wedding was amazing. No one can contact me. I'm pretty much phoneless and I'm kind of loving it. Bye! <laughs>